Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pavel Stanirovsky, and I would like to present you the results of the randomized control trial evaluating DACC impregnated dressings for the prevention of surgical side infections in women undergoing caesarean section. I have no financial relationships to disclose. As you all probably well know, caesarean section is currently one of the most commonly performed surgical procedures worldwide, and uh, according to the literature data and uh, depending on the region of the world, almost 0.4 to 40% of all deliveries have surgical outcome, and continuously increasing tendency has been observed. It is also well documented that between 2 to 9% of women undergoing the delivery uh, undergoing caesarean section will, uh, will have surgical side infection and the impact of this surgical side infection treatment of the healthcare system economy remains a serious burden. Moreover, it should be stressed out that the common risk factors for surgical side infection such as obesity, diabetes are nowadays widespread among women of the reproductive age, thus contributing to the increase in the rate of wound infections. Six years ago, we began to use uh, DACC impregnated dressings in our obstetric department, and the main reason for that was the dressing solely physical mechanism of action, namely through the hydrophobic interaction because between the surface of the dressing and the microorganisms. And as the majority of wound pathogens uh, express high to moderate cell surface hydrophobicity, they became irreversibly bound to the dressing surface and removed when the dressing is taken off. Moreover, as there are no additional antimicrobial substances released to the wound area, the risk of uh, sensitization, cytotoxicity, or microbial resistance have been eliminated, thus making the dressing suitable for the woman during pure pearl and lactation period. Prior to RCT in 2014, we published a pilot study which showed the decreasing tendency in the rate of surgical side infections in women after caesarean section in whom DACC dressing was applied. And uh, because the results were promising, uh, we performed the power analysis and decided to conduct a larger RCT which aimed to evaluate the efficiency and cost effectiveness of the DACC impregnated dressing in the prevention of postoperative surgical side infection in the women undergoing caesarean section. The study was randomized, single-blinded with the control group. It was registered in the clini uh, clinical trials gov website. It was performed between uh, June 2014 and April 2015 at the tertiary care center in Warsaw, performing 1,500 deliveries per year with the caesarean section rate of 53%. Uh, the study population consisted of adult women uh, able to give informed consent who were subjected to elective or emergency caesarean section. The simple randomization with one-to-one -one allocation ratio was used to alternate patients for alternate dressings. Um, the caesarean section technique was the same for all participants. Also, all participants received antibiotic prophylaxis prior to surgery and wound irrigation with otstenidine prior to subcutaneous tissue closure. According to the study, study protocol, in, in all participants, dressings remain in situ for the first 48 hours after the surgery. After those 40, for, uh, 48 hours, the dressing were removed in both groups. And if there are no medical contraindications, the patient were discharged home on the day third and were uh, recommended to revisit on day seven to have skin suture removed. And the second wound assessment was performed on this, on this visit. The third and final wound evaluation was performed on day 14 after the surgery, of course, the patient who didn't uh, come for the follow-up visits were excluded from the analysis. During the study period, uh, 605, uh, 605 patients underwent caesarean section. 19 were excluded uh, because they didn't meet study inclusion criteria. 586 were randomized. Uh, however, 43 of them didn't report for follow-up visit and were excluded, leaving a total of 543 evaluable patients. As you can see from this slide, there were no statistically significant differences between both groups with respect to the basic perioperative data, including age, race, 
pre-pregnancy weight, uh, gest uh, gestational age, occurrence of diabetes, hypertension, and smoking in pregnancy. Uh, both groups also did not differ with regard to the mode of cesarean section, duration of surgery, surgeon experience, and post-operative hospital stay. But what we observed that in the, among women who received DACC impregnated dressing, the rate of surgical side infection was 1.8%, whereas in the control group it was 52 and the difference was statistically significant. However, there were no significant differences with regard to the wound dehiscences, systemic antibiotic treatment, and hospital readmissions. When we look deeper into the numbers, it also occurred that uh, in women who received DACC impregnated dressings and who developed surgical site infection, there was no need for systemic antibiotic therapy. They had also six fewer outpatient visits and 33 fewer hospital bed days, which means that in the standard surgical dressing group, the patient who developed surgical side infection has the mean bed day in the hospital attributable to wound infection amounted to 2.4 additional days. In the cost effectiveness analysis, we included the cost of systemic antibiotic therapy, of ambulatory visits, additional hospitalization, additional nursing care, and of course, cost of the dressings. And according to Polish uh, criteria, it occurred that in the DACC impregnated dressing group, the cost, the total cost was 1,100 euro, whereas in the control group, it amounted to 5,800. We also performed the multivariate regression analysis, which showed that the pre-pregnancy body mass index, smoking in pregnancy, and standard surgical dressings were the independent risk factors for surgical site infection development. To conclude, DACC impregnated dressing constitute efficacious and cost-effective method of surgical site infection in women after caesarean section white reduction before conception, abstaining from smoking in pregnancy, and application of the DACC impregnated dressings might prevent surgical side infection after caesarean section. Thank you. Uh, here you can see the three papers we published from this study. The first is pilot, then the RCT, and the cost-effectiveness analysis. Thank you very much.